Hey there YouTube, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Welcome back. Uh, we've got a quick question from Marion who says, Hey, I've got uh, dates and I've got a spin button that is supposed to increase the date by one day or decrease the date by one day, you know, with the spin up or spin down buttons. However, it's not doing the format that I want because Marion is in Australia and it's the age old US date format versus um, international or European date format. So we're going to review that. Basically, click on this daily totals button here. So instead of uh, the way I perceive this is um, uh, this is actually 12th January 2015. Now, uh, in the U.S., that would be considered the month, but uh, this is the day. Okay, so I'm not going to get in that too much. You can Google it, but basically, uh, we w instead of when we click the date up or the uh, spin up button or the spin down button to go up or down one day, instead of doing uh, 13th January and 14th January, etc., it actually thinks that we're wanting to increase this middle number thinking that it's December 1st 2015 and so that's not exactly what we want so for example instead of doing 13th January when I click this it's gonna say December 2nd December 3rd uh, etc uh, which is not what uh, Marion wanted so let's discuss how to do this remember this is just one way to skin that cat and there's lots of ways to do it if you have any other helpful information uh, or some other tips please um, enter them into the the discussion here on this on this YouTube video so I've hit alt F11 we're gonna double click on the daily totals which is the user form we just took a look at so basically um, as you saw when when the user form initialized so I'm gonna double click back here here's the user form initialize the first step was taking that text box and equals so in f inserting the formatted version of today's date uh, today's dates right here and use the format function to ch to format that into day day month month year 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 instead of the default which is month month day day year 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 so we're going to show you how to basically reanalyze or teach Excel how to reanalyze that so we're going to copy this part and we're going to double click on the spin button because I want to see the spin up and the spin down events so as you can see here, using C date will frankly just convert the date into the normal US version at this point in the game. So um, we're going to go ahead and go through a few extra steps to teach Excel what we're looking for. So let's take whatever is in the date field and we're going to try to get the, the day, the month, and the year kind of out on their own so that we can use something like date serial to reanalyze. So um, let's get started. So we're going to say that my day uh, equals, and that's going to be the leftmost two digits of me dot text date. So that comma two digits. We want the leftmost two digits of that. So my month is going to be equal to, we're going to use the mid function. The mid function uh, takes into account um, the middle several characters. So the string that we want to use is still me dot text date, but we're going to starting point, remember you have two digits, one, two, and then a slash, three, and then the next digit is your starting point. So this is going to be a four, and then you have the length of the, well, frankly, the middle two digits is two digits and then my we're gonna have the year and that's gonna be equal to the rightmost of me dot text date the rightmost comma four digits of that date that's gonna get your four digit year so we'll see how this all comes together in a second but basically we're gonna say my date equals and we're gonna use a date add function so date add allows you to add a number of weeks, a number of months, years, seconds, anything that you want to add to your date. So the, the thing that they want right now is the interval as string. So that's going to be what's the interval we want is called day. You can look up this date add function on my YouTube channel or on Google. But basically the date add, we don't want seconds or months or anything like that. We want to know days. We want to add one day. So comma number number positive one is what we want to add to that date now here's the fun part what's the date well 
right now we're trying to establish that the date is not uh, month, day, year for for Marion. In their case, we want to do uh, it a little bit different than what Excel is used to. So we're going to use a date serial. Date serial is a function that is no fuss, not messing around. Give it to me straight. That means give me the year, and we've already formatted that over there, and give me the month, and give me the day, and I don't care what order, well, it has to be in this order, so Excel understands the day, or the date, rather. Now I'm going to put it one more parentheses so that we can close up this date add. So I'll spell it out in just a second, but essentially we are extracting the day, the month, and the year from the international format and then we're putting it into a variable here temporarily and we're going to say we want to add uh, a number of days and the number is one day in the future and then the date that we're using is extract is use the uh, the year the month and the day which gets a date a serial date of that date so I'm gonna go ahead and erase these actually on error resume next doesn't hurt I'll go ahead and put that up there but this we don't need so let's go ahead and uh, debug what we have so far actually no we're gonna go ahead and format it which we will just cheat and use this right here and then we're pretty well done so the last oh, we'll put that here so uh, we'll go through and debug and I'll show you what's going on then we'll finish up by putting that in the spin down event and I'll show you how to do that but basically uh, the last step here is uh, we've got a variable we're not using today's date we're using a variable called my date which we have captured the serial date of that number and at the last step here we're reformatting the uh, the date to be in this format date or a day month year and then we're punching that into the actual text box itself so let's see how that works in real time we're going to go ahead and um, open up the user form and we're going to, so this is um, 12th January 2015. Now I'm going to hit the spin up button and it's going to stop us right here at the stop marker. So let's hit F8 and we see that that has extracted the leftmost two characters which is 12 and that's the day, not the month. The month is actually 0, 1, so that's fine, and then the year, hit F8, the year is going to be 2015. Now my date is going to take a one day, not seconds or anything, into the future, uh, but it's it's not trying to think of this date as uh, um, of, what, what did I say, December 1st, it's, it's going to tell it that, hey, this is the in fact the month and this is in fact the day so get it right basically that way it'll know it is actually 12th January so hit F8 with me so we've added one day to that very um, obvious date there and that gives us 113 you're thinking well crap you know that defeats the purpose no we're actually very very close now so we have um, 13th January it's just thinking the way it thinks but now we can take that date that's in the variable my date and we can reformat it with the day, month, year and watch what happens when we do that. In fact, I'm going to let you see it right here, right above. I'm going to hit F8 and boom, we have 13, uh, 13th January 2015. We do not need this date change event at this time. So now we're going to uh, do the same thing that we did to that spin up event only this is very easy at this point we're pretty well done um, we're gonna take all this good stuff here we're gonna copy it and I'm gonna show you don't worry uh, paste it right there now basically the only step that we need to do now is this instead of adding a positive one date we're using the date add function to do uh, minus one day to that serial number and essentially we are done so I'll show you how that how that works but uh, yeah pretty much we're done I'll take this stop marker off so it'll run really smoothly so now it's going to know exactly how to interpret this date so that it can easily add or subtract one day to it and uh, it's really easy if you can just copy and paste the code or if you can just uh, understand how it works 
So at the moment of truth here, let's click the spin up button and boom, we have 13th January, 14th. And then we have um, decreasing, of course, it's working just fine. Another moment of truth here. Will it work uh, into the next year over? Yes, it will. 31st December 2014. So it's absolutely just fine. It's working just fine. Uh, the only caveat is if you're going to use it in this format, uh, you do want to make sure that there is uh, a two-digit month and a two-digit uh, always having either a zero or having two solid digits because of the way that we did it in this manner. Anyway, that being said, I sure thank you for following along with me, and thanks for visiting uh, Excel VBA's fun YouTube channel. Um, also, want to thank you, uh, everybody who has purchased our premium course, the Ultimate Excel Programmer course. That's been going really well. And uh, for those of you, I appreciate your feedback in the forums there. And um, if anybody else wants to inquire about that, it's uh, the link is going to show up on your screen right now. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and God bless. We'll be, uh, we'll be adding some more videos uh, very shortly with your questions.